Hi, I'm Catherine Hill. I'm president and CEO of Levine Museum of the New South. We're a history museum that is as much about the present and the future as it is about the past. And through our exhibits and programs and dialogues, we explore the history of this region through the stories of everyone, all of her diverse people. And today I would like to ask you to join us in a social media conversation we're starting called A Piece of Home. People, um, people call us all the time and they ask if something they found in their home has historical value. They usually mean monetary value, which is something different um, because all kinds of things, photographs and letters and jewelry, furniture, a song, recipe, they have historical value. If you understand the stories behind that object, stories that help us understand a person, a place, a time, and lead us to understand something more about our place, our time, ourselves and each other. Um, you are probably spending way more time at home than you ever imagined, right? And there are probably things all around you that are telling stories, and we would love to hear them from you. Um, for example, I was actually looking for something else when I found this. This is a menu from a cruise ship that sailed from Bermuda to New York in October of 1951, and it belonged to my mother, Edna Piccaro. Edna was born in 1927 in a small coal mining town in the Canadian Rockies. They had no money. She was a coal miner's daughter. They had a big garden in a place with a very short growing season. And so they canned and preserved and ate out of that garden all year round. And practically from the moment she was born, Edna's dream was to get out of Fernie, British Columbia and to see the world. So she worked really hard in high school and she went to nursing school. And about the minute she graduated, she went to Bermuda, got a job, worked there for about a year and then set off to see the world. So she got on this cruise ship and on this cruise ship, she ate lobster Newberg and Omdive salad and fruit parfait. She was 23 years old. Can you imagine how exciting that time must have been for her? And from New York, she went to Washington, D.C. and the Grand Canyon and Los Angeles and San Francisco. And for the next few years, she traveled and worked. And eventually she settled down and got married, became a housewife, gave up her career. That's what a lot of women in the 1950s did. But she never stopped traveling. She never stopped reading. And she never stopped dreaming big things for herself and for her daughters. So her story is part of my story. That story is in this document. So look around your house, find the objects that tell the story, and then um, send them in the comment section or um, on social media, tagging Museum of the New South. We can't wait to hear from you. Thanks.